Hey there, and welcome back. My name is Gardner. I've run the YouTube and Odyssey channel Gardner Bryant for over seven years. I've made a career off of video editing on Linux using free and open source tools, and I wanted to share some of the work and knowledge that I've gained with you. So what is B-roll? B-roll is secondary footage. It's clips that are loosely related to the topic being covered in your video. B-roll helps fill in the narrative and inform the viewer. B-roll is any footage that is intercut with the main or establishing shot, or to use an archaic term, the A-roll. So why use B-roll? There's an old adage in movie production, show, don't tell. B-roll is a great way to do this. The idea is to use the medium we have, video, to convey the story that we're trying to tell. And even if you just produce little videos on the internet, one way to stand out from the crowd is to tell a story with your editing. Not everyone does this. Some people just turn on the camera and talk and then cut out the ums and uhs. I've certainly been guilty of this in the past. They don't cut to B-roll, and so it's up to the viewer to listen to the story and follow and stay engaged. But if you cut your videos so that they tell your story visually as well, people will naturally stay engaged. So the question is, when should I use B-roll? Well, you can cut to B-roll during an interview or a talking head segment, using B-roll to illustrate or show the audience what you're actually talking about. If you have a news story reporting on a local business, the reporter will be talking and the news station will cut to footage of that business. You could be talking about the conference you just visited and cut to footage of that that you captured from the conference floor. Or if you're talking about your biking trip that you took this summer, you could cut to GoPro footage of that trip. Or if we really want to get meta, you could be presenting a tutorial series about video editing on Linux and you might cut to footage of using the program to do the editing. And if we're being technical, pick up shots and inserts, visual effects, and stock footage all count as B-roll as well. So how do I use B-roll? Well, there are a few techniques with B-roll that you should be aware of. First of all, there's the simple usage where you can cut to the B-roll you're talking to. Most of the time, you'll want to do this without the audio from the B-roll. Depending on the clip, leaving the audio intact can be quite distracting. However, there are times where leaving the audio of the B-roll audible is definitely the right move. B-roll with audible sound is the second technique. If you happen to use footage that is of a different aspect ratio, you might find that if you place it over top of your primary footage, you can see the main footage at the borders and edges of the B-roll. There are a few techniques that you can use to combat this. I find that if you want a simple letterbox, I'd recommend creating a color clip by clicking this button, then selecting color clip and select black. Then you can add the color clip on a track between your B-roll and main footage. Alternatively, you can use a stretched, darkened, and blurred version of the original footage to fill the rest of the screen. Copy your B-roll to the track above with Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. Then use the transform effect to scale the lower clip so that it's large enough to fill the entire screen. Then add a blur effect and make it pretty intense. Finally, to differentiate the background clip from the actual B-roll, add a brightness effect to the background clip and then lower it. So the question then might be, how do I get B-roll? Well, B-roll can be collected at events, conventions, during trips or at gatherings. It can be shot on any type of camera. It can be shot before, after, or during the production. You can shoot it yourself or you can use stock footage resources. There are great resources out there for stock footage. You can even find high quality Creative Commons licensed footage like Pexels.com or even a paid subscription site. Most of the B-roll that I used in this video, I got from Pexels. So in this video, we learned about B-roll, what it is, how to use it, and where to find it. Hopefully you learned something new and maybe even discovered a trick or two. Thank you for watching and I hope you all have a great day.